Hi everyone, my name is Adam, and today we're going to be talking about people mode. So people mode is a mode that is available in ACDC Photo Studio Ultimate, Professional, and Home 2022. Uh, so it's new to 2022, and in some ways it replaces the functionality of V mode. And one of the major benefits of people mode is it allows you to sort of group um, like uh, people together and name them all at once, rather than having to interact with your images uh, one at a time. So to give you an idea of what we're changing to uh, <laughs> from, uh, from view mode, I'm just going to navigate to view mode here. And what you'll notice is, let's just scroll to an image that already has a name. So I'm just going to use the scroll bar here down at the bottom, and I'll find this subject. So you can see that Emily here already has a name. Uh, you can see that we're, we have the uh, face outlines shown. So that's this little bounding box right here. And then also we have the uh, face tool, so the edit face, uh, which allows me to edit the bounding box and then also allows me to actually add, physically add a name. So uh, historically uh, in uh, view mode, that's what we had to do is we had to turn those on those functions and then go through the process of naming my subject. In this case, I would name Emily here and then I would go to another photo and uh, it would either pick up on the fact that this person was Emily uh, or it would uh, uh, ask me to check or deny uh, whether or not the person was Emily if it was unsure. And then lastly, what it would do is if it wasn't sure it was Emily, if it had no information, basically this would be left blank and we'd had to add the name manually. So that would be how view mode worked in the past and how we would go through the process of actually uh, editing somebody's name and adding them to our roster. So uh, in order to uh, navigate to people mode, so I can show you how the new processes work, we can go to people, uh, which is hotkeyed as control F6. Uh, or what we can do is you'll notice that if we go to tools and we go to manage people, manage people, which used to be a little pop-up bar, is now its own mode, which is, like I said, people mode with people mode indicated by the active icon there. So the first thing you're going to notice is that people mode is populated by a bunch of different people's images, their faces. And so these are uh, people in this case that we've already named. Um, so these are, these are those that who are, are named in our system uh, and have been added to our roster. There's a couple of bits of information here that's kind of valuable. You can notice that in the bottom right hand corner here, uh, there is an indication of how many uh, photos we have of Bebek in this case. So if I was to click on Bebek, you could see that there is in fact three images that feature him. In this case, when we go into this mode, when we click on Bebek from the people mode, we're brought into Bebek's screen here. And we can see that there is a box down at the bottom here, right here, that indicates suggested faces. Uh, currently, uh, as it stands, there is actually no images in our roster that are suggested to be Bebek. But I will show you an example of someone who does have suggestions. And that icon is indicated by this little face with a question mark here. So you can see that both Trish and Vicky, in this case, uh, have an icon at the bottom left next to the icon on the bottom right that indicates how many total images there are currently of Trish. The same is the case for Vicky, and let's go into Trish and see what that suggested image is. So if I double click on this, I'll bring it into my mode here, and I can see these six current suggestions of Trish. When I hover over these, you'll notice that there's a little X button that allows me to, in the case that one of these is incorrect, I can just remove it from my roster here. What you'll also see is that in this case, we actually do have a suggested face, uh, and this is uh, a suggested face that is accurate. So this is in fact Trish, um, and so what we could do is we could click the approval button down at the bottom left here, or the deny button, uh, if we felt this image was wrong. And what this will do uh, is it's just going to physically add it to our current roster just at the top here. So when I do that, if I click on the, uh, uh, the approval button here, you'll see that it is added to the total roster here. And that will probably change the number uh, to seven, just right here. So you can see that now Trish has a total of seven images of herself in her people roster. Let's have a look at Vicky, because Vicky in this case is an interesting example of somebody who is not Vicky. <laughs> so this is a different person in her roster. 
Uh, so we have four images of Vicky, uh, they're correct. Uh, and then we have two images that are uh, suggestions that in this case are not Vicky. And so what we'd want to do is we'd want to deny these images. Uh, and, and basically, uh, whenever we add more information like this, when we deny images, uh, you know, uh, our people mode in this case is learning a little bit new information about, uh, about these images. So after I've denied them, uh, it says that there is no suggestions. And importantly, if we go back, we can now see that that pending flag that was on the bottom left of our image is gone. Okay, so now that we have a better understanding of the pending flag, let's actually have a look at the unnamed tab. So the unnamed tab is located up at the top here. And when we click on it, we're gonna get some indications of people that we should name or that are currently unnamed uh, in ACDC. You can also notice too that up at the top right hand corner, there's a little indicator icon called the show source image thumbnails. And what that does is when I click on it, it'll actually give us the context of these images. Uh, so this might be helpful um, to swap between the two, just so you have a better understanding of who you're working with when you're going through and you're naming uh, your subjects. Um, so the show face outlines just shows the show, it's, uh, shows the face itself. And then the show source image shows the full image or the context of your image. Currently I have them grouped um, and there's a reason for this. Uh, so you'll note that up on the top right hand corner, there's the grouped ungrouped function. So uh, grouped basically takes uh, your images that you have and uh, based on ACDC sort of um, capabilities in terms of determining who these people are based on prior face data or just sort of looking at the images um, and, and putting them together. What it's going to do is it's going to make a suggestion for, uh, for these people and put them into a group. You'll see that I have eight of this gentleman and five of this. Is this five of her? You might also notice too um, that when you set it to ungrouped, there actually is quite a bit more photos uh, of your subjects. Um, so in this case of our first character here, we might have more than eight, which means that it's just struggling to group all of the images. And what it might require basically is you to take whatever grouped section you have first and name them. Uh, and then as you name them, it's basically going to learn the face information and be able to make better uh, suggestions for uh, pending faces. So the workflow that I would suggest is starting with a grouped workflow. We're going to have a look at this gentleman right here. I'm going to click on him. I just want to verify that everything in the group uh, is him, uh, which in this case it is. So I'm happy with this. And I'm going to name uh, him Brian. So I'll name him Brian. And then what it's going to do is it's actually going to drop him from the unnamed tab altogether. And if I click on the named tab, you'll notice that Brian is here and all these images of Brian arise. So if I go back to the unnamed tab, let's just name a couple more. So we'll have a look at this guy right here and we'll verify that all of the photos are of, are of him uh, and they are. So I'm just gonna name him Cameron and click okay and then he'll be moved. And let's actually name this girl right here and we're gonna name her Sarah and click okay and she, like the other two, will be moved into this tab. Now, um, you know, there might be some processes too where, you know, you'll go into uh, your subject or one of these, uh, these uh, people and, and you'll want to know whether or not there's any tabbed or suggestions active, uh, where well, you can just click on your face here and then you'll know as you browse your images and as uh, ACDC learns about the face data that you'll get suggestions over time. If I go back to the unnamed tab, just at the top here, and I actually go to ungrouped, what I can also do is I can actually just manually add people. So if I knew that this one was of Sarah, uh, and I do, I do, and if I knew that these three were Brian, I can go through and manually add them as well. So I'll just go through and add these. I know that these people are all Brian in these images. Brian with long hair, and then this one is Cameron. So I'll add Cameron. And so we can go through and we can sort of add them. We know that there's a couple images of Sarah here. Yeah, so we can go through and we can add names as we see fit. And then uh, as I add faces, uh, there might be some more pending metadata that will come up, pop up, provided that, you know, provided that, uh, that you've given enough for ACDC to actually verify those images. So this gives you a good, uh, good way to interact with your images and add uh, sort of face metadata. And just as a reminder too, just be sure to, when you go through the process, 
of uh, naming your your people uh, in people mode, uh, you'll note that there's going to be a, a pending metadata uh, icon that appears on the bottom left of your images in manage mode. And just a reminder to always make sure to embed uh, any metadata, in this case, the face data. So make sure to right click on your image, go to metadata, embed med metadata. And what we want to do, uh, I guess in the case of face data, is just make sure ACDC face data, including face outlines and names, have been embedded in the files. What embedding metadata does is it allows you to um, uh, reconstruct <clears throat> that uh, same information. Uh, so catalog those files in the future using that metadata in the event that um, you know, you've moved to a new product. It will allow you to reconstruct any face data that you have lost uh, by going to the catalog files function. So provided that the faces have been embedded in the files, you can, in the future, catalog those files to regain or, uh, I suppose, renew that information. So that represents people mode today. Uh, like I said, if you have any questions or comments, please drop them in the, in the little uh, in the comment section below. Uh, and yeah, I'm really excited about this feature. I think this feature adds a, uh, a lot of uh, ease of use uh, to an already sort of uh, a good feature in ACDC and one that we wanted to provide a people a platform to uh, to basically add add uh, face uh, data uh, simpler, easier, and to multiple images at once. Uh, that's it for me. Have a great day. Talk to you guys later.